Hi there, I'm Mrs. Heisey, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the coping saw. This is our coping saw. It's just a tiny little handheld saw with a tiny little blade inside of it. Um, we are actually able to remove this blade, so if we needed to make intricate cuts inside of our wood, we could just drill a hole, pop out our blade, place it back on, and cut. Um, that's why we have this also, our handle part right here, or not the handle, um, the bar on here, that holds the top and bottom, so we are actually able to get into some intricate places, all right? So to use this, we want to make sure that our blade is in here nice and tight. On the bottom, we hold this portion right here, and then we take the handle and we twist it. If it doesn't move, then it's perfectly fine. Our blade is in there nice and tight. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to go ahead and start to cut out this spade that I have, and I'm going to place it inside of my vise on the table here. Now, when I do this, um, when you're using a coping saw, you don't necessarily have to make relief cuts, but sometimes it is easier, especially if you're going to be cutting longer portions. Mine's just a short one, and it's just going to kind of be at a slight angle, so I'm not going to need to make any type of relief cuts. When you do this again, you got to have safety glasses on. You're just going to start in a backward motion. I pull it, making sure that my blade, that the teeth are pointing in an upward direction. I pull it back towards myself a couple times just so I get a nice groove started. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut. Now when you cut, you just want to take it back and forth. Don't force it. If you force it, it will end up snapping your blade. All right, so you can see I went ahead and I cut right through on there. So I have my little edge right here done. Okay, I can come in and I can start the other side and then I can come from underneath and over here. And it's just a very simple, easy tool to use. Couple things that you wanna remember. When you have your material in here and you're holding your saw, I like to hold the saw so I have both hands on the handle. I don't like to keep my fingers out here because if I'm sawing and for some reason I get distracted, I might have the saw cut my fingers. So be very careful on that one. That's why I like to cut with two hands on the saw. Notice I never held onto this portion of my saw up here. All that's going to do is make you force it and jam it into your material a lot harder. The last thing that I wanna talk about is um, when you are cutting, how you want to make sure that you're keeping your blade straight. Sometimes people tend to hold it at an angle, so when they cut, they're actually cutting their material at an angle instead of it being a nice, smooth, straight edge like I have right here. All right. When you're using the coping saw, please make sure that you are paying attention. If you have any questions, ask the teacher how to use it. It's a fairly simple saw to use. Um, the only difference between this and our coping saw that we have here at school is that our coping saw is powered and this is powered by us.